to start paint analysis, first of all we have to open its website, here is web address, and then we have to prepare our lists of genes. When we open web address, we click start new analysis, and here we come to place where we can upload our list of genes. This list of genes is just a list of genes. I use gene bank accession numbers and it's easy to create such list in Excel, but it's important to save it as text file because Paint can accept only text files. We, we go back here and what we have here, we have our organism Homo sapiens, upstream length 2000 base pairs upstream, that's normally what it should be. As I said, I use gene bank accession number, which is in our case, but you can also use clone ID, and address gene ID, or ensemble gene IDs. We leave it as it is, and we use gene identifier list, and we browse for file. I am using much transfac public and to use it we have to register and paint provide all the information where you can register we enter our username and password those fields we normally leave unchanged and then we, uh, we click execute F fisnet builder fisnet builder takes quite a while to finish its results because transfer public is very slow when it finishes it re its results you can actually download those intermediate results but we do not have to worry about it right now we go through all those intermediate files and we click continue to go on with fisnet analysis and visualization when we come to fisnet analysis and visualization Fisnet ana Analyzer has already all our information, it has our file which it creates, it has information which species we use and others. Then we come to clustering options, and for clustering options you do not want to change anything, you want to leave it as it is, because it, it gives much nicer and comprehensible picture. Then we have to select reference list for our analysis. This reference list is our universe against which we will test our list of genes for statistical significance of overrepresented transcription regulatory elements. We can use pre-built references and it can be all promoters in paint database or it can be some of pre-built lists for affymetrics and more pre-built references will be added to paint later or we can upload our own reference list but to do this we have to create first to create fisnet file for our reference list let's say we have microarray which has uh, 20,000 genes we have to run those 20,000 genes thro through fisnet builder and save fisnet file and afterwards we can use this file as our own reference. So far we do not have to worry about it. Then we come to setting statistical significance of our analysis. And here we can set p-value, which is normally 0.05. We can set adjusted p-value based on false discovery rate. And it is 0.3 or it can be less than that. If we have gene of list which contain several subgroups, we can set those subgroups as clusters. And it also, we can create it in Excel. Here we have list of genes, and here we have cluster numbers. So those genes in first cluster, Further, we have list of genes in second cluster, and in this case, Paint will consider those clusters individually. I do not worry about it right now, and click 
execute FISNET analysis analyzer and viewer. After FISNET analyzer and viewer finish its results, you can also download it as zip file and hear what you get afterwards. You can get all, you, all your intermediate files and all information about which settings did you use. And at the end of this, you can actually see your results as picture. And you can, you can see which genes with what statistical significance share several transcriptional regulatory elements. As you can see here, raw p-value based have some information, but if you adjust it for FTR, it has no significantly enriched trees. Let's have a look at another picture produced by Paint, so you can get the idea what the, the results look like. Here we have some results which produce a good picture and uh, here we have FDR adjusted p-value based FISNET as an image file. If we go here we can see those are transcription factors, overrepresented transcription factors and here are genes which share those transcription factors. We can see that several genes share tal alpha and beta transcription regulatory elements, several genes share in common GATA1 and CMUK max transcription regulatory elements and several genes share only CMUK max transcriptional regulatory elements. If you want to see legend for this figure, it also provides you legends as image file and here you can see all your color legend. It has those results as text file which you can download or in such nice view which is a little bit difficult to interpret in my opinion but still you can get some idea which genes regulated by which transcription factors. If you really want to read some good tutorial about paint, here is perfect description of it with examples and here are is PubMed ID number. You can search PubMed for this number and find this article. Unfortunately it does not have free text, so you can have to you have to find it through your library.